beautiful morning, everybody. It is converting to snow as we speak here in Big Bear Lake, California. It's not 37, it's about 34. It's quarter to four in the morning. I don't know if, if, if you guys can tell, but once we get up here a little further, you should be able to see in the headlights and the big splotches on the windshield that it is converting to snow right now. I have literally been staring out the hotel window nonstop. <laughs> literally nonstop. This is what I do though. This is my passion. I really enjoy it. It gives me something to really look forward to. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the drive. I want you guys to, uh, once again, once again, just always realize how much I appreciate you. We have a beautiful family here together, you guys. And I love you guys very, very much. Very, very, very much. So check it out. Also, I know I talk about it a lot now because I'm proud. We have that, that merchandise line at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. And uh, I want you guys... I, I know some of you have already seen it, but there's... A little short commercial slash promo that I'd like you guys to you know check out it'll take 30 seconds it's me acting it's pretty cool I think you guys who haven't seen it will enjoy it so please tell me what you think I think you'll get a good laugh out of it and here it goes and then we will watch the rest of the snow as we're driving here it goes tell me what you think awesome huh isn't that hilarious <laughs> isn't that hilarious guys so yeah if you want any of that merchandise just go to bigbearweatherandmore.com there's a link in the description of the video and as always I need to mention uh, for your ski and snowboard rentals and the top of the line equipment that you need to enjoy yourselves clothing everything go to get boards and tell them I I sent you since it's a new relationship if someone doesn't recognize it, then ask for Tony, the owner. But look at these big snowflakes coming down. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! It's finally here. It's finally here, dude. Yes. I don't know why it's so exciting, but it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am such a little kid right now. Just so special this is. This is so special. You know what guys, we're gonna, instead of go to the dam, we're gonna drive through Upper Moon Ridge. I'm certain there's gonna be some good snow at the dam. But uh, I knew I timed this perfectly guys. I knew I timed it perfectly as usual. Just staring out, staring out the window, I saw like what looked to be maybe a snowflake checked my own personal temperature gauge and I realized you know what this is gonna change over right now and look at that as we drove through the village some big fat snowflakes started coming down oh it's so great it's so great and I, I'm, I'm trying to get a, a better windshield shot here so I apologize you guys if it's not the greatest picture I am trying my best, but look at how big these snowflakes are, my gosh. Temperature is currently 36 degrees. When we get up to the top of Moon Ridge, it should be about 35 or 34 degrees, and we should be getting a much more steady snow, even though we're getting a steady snow right now. Oh, this is just great. Seriously, guys, this is why I do this. This is, this is why I do this. This is why I moved to Big Bear for this reason and this reason only. 
I've told you guys a million times, I didn't move here for the mountains. I love to ski, but I haven't skied much since I've lived here, which is odd. That's all I would look forward to in the wintertime is skiing. But yeah, this is all I look forward to is the snowfall. And as I said, I, I moved up here just for the snow, not for the mountains, not for the lake, not for the skiing, not for anything other than the snow. And even though I didn't move up here for the people either, I got a nice surprise with some pretty amazing people up here. But yeah, guys, this is just fantastic. We are getting snow on Big Bear Boulevard now. Compared to that first, you know, snow that I technically recorded almost a month ago, three weeks or so, these are real snowflakes. Just complaining about everything. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. These are the really big, nice, thick, fat snowflakes. So once the temperature falls a little bit more, the windshield will clear up a bit. We'll be able to see a little bit better. But once we drive through Moon Ridge, through all those lights, where the roundabouts are, and then head up to Upper Moon Ridge, you're going to be able to see a lot better. It is over here a bit of a rain snow mix. But my gosh, it is it's just so pretty. Now once again, it's uh according to my car, it's 36 degrees, 3:49 in the morning. I use so much gas, you guys. This is craziness. I, I go through so much gas just in this little tiny town of Big Bear. But again, I love what I do. Doing these videos takes away my depression. And I'm honest with you guys about everything. I have nothing to hide from you guys. Nothing. And some of my suffering and methods that I've done to uh, get through it might help you guys too. You never know. Yeah, this is just fantastic. This might end up being a pretty darn long video, guys. And then obviously in a couple more hours when the sun rises, we're gonna go out and check the scene, do another video. Yeah, just a little bit obsessed, aren't I? Okay, we are on Moon Ridge Road now. And the snowflakes are still monsters. My wife was so tired, you guys. I was willing to give her as much time as she, about 20 minutes ago. I, I told her take like 10 or 15 minutes and get up and get get ready so, so you can cruise and enjoy the first real snowfall of the season with me my darling she really wanted to but I mean not not many people are as passionate about it as I am not many people are gonna wake up or not go to sleep just to go record some snowfall I am that person who will do that Okay, so we are coming into the roundabout areas. I was hoping we'd be able to see the snowflakes a little better over here. As I said, we're going to push through this time. We're not just going to turn around at the end. And we're going to go to the highest point in the Moon Ridge area. temperature since it's still 36 will probably be 35 up there maybe 34 if we are hanging on the edge of 36 right now also for your guys is uh, inquiries about road conditions I'm not always completely up to date on the road conditions when it comes to uh, 
coming up like Highway 330 or 18 or 38 or 18 on the back. So I always suggest that you guys call 1-800-CALTRANS. It's a very simple automated system. There's also a Caltrans app you can download, but I used to always call that phone number, 800-CALTRANS, and uh, you'll get all the, all the information you need. You, you just type in in the automated system which highway you're planning on, on taking, and uh, it'll give you the best information. And I'm disappointed because I didn't wear my prescription glasses right now. I'd be able to see the snow a lot better. I really chowdered that. I feel like such a Barney for forgetting, but it is what it is. All right, we're climbing up. We are on silver tip right now. Temperature just dropped to 35 as we're climbing. So I'm assuming when we get to the top, we'll be at about 34. And a much more consistent snow. Now we are on Villa Grove. I refer to this street as Lower Villa Grove because we're gonna turn right here on Butte and reach Upper Villa Grove. Even though it's technically just called Villa Grove. I can't wait for us to do the moon loaf drives when we have a bunch of snow, you guys. Ah, oh, this is gonna be great. This is so exciting to get this part of the season going. getting towards the mountain and I'm referring to Bear Mountain which means that it should pick up a little bit and it already is right as I said that I don't know if you guys can, can tell straight ahead oh, look at the temp look at the temp folks 34 yeah buddy and it's all snow now <laughs> yes yes Oh, this is just amazing. We're driving through our first snowstorm. I can't believe it. The first snowstorm of 2023-2024, well, of the 2023-2024 season. Again, I know a lot of people are going to say, but didn't we just record the snow almost a month ago? Yes, but it was just a couple snowflakes, and it was literally like a quarter mile wide stretch of the littlest plume of moisture. And it was, it was like a, kind of like, not sleet because they were snowflakes, but it, it just wasn't anything special. This is special. This is absolutely special. And if we're lucky, we'll get down to 33 degrees. And uh, as I said, as, as we get colder here, we're not gonna need the windshield wipers as much. So let me slow them down a little bit here. By the way, you guys, those of you still watching, um, check out our Instagram page, Big Bear Weather and More on Instagram. And then those of you who have purchased merchandise, we would really appreciate it if you took some selfies of you wearing the merch or holding the mugs and stuff like that and DM them to, to me. And my partner is helping me out with all this. He's gonna probably put together a, a cool little video for you all. I think that would be awesome. And then also, we do have a giveaway coming up. I'm not sure exactly when, but 
it's going to be a pretty pretty awesome one. It's it's going to be a, a, a really awesome Airbnb with a jacuzzi right next to Bear Mountain. Nice place. It feels like you're in the mountains. It's definitely a mountain cabin. You'll dig it. Plus, you'll get some free merchandise as well. So it's it's quite a major major giveaway. I think this place during the snowy and holiday times is probably between four and six hundred dollars a night. So I'm not sure how many nights we're going to be giving it away, but I just want you guys to be prepared and get ready. We did this giveaway last year also. Once again, we are in Upper Moon Ridge on a street called Villa Grove, and uh, this part of town, you guys, is the snowiest part of all of the Big Bear Valley when it comes to residential neighborhoods. This is it. The next snowy part of town <coughs> is the Big Bear Dam area. The closer you go towards the dam, the more snow you'll get. So from the village towards the dam, that's the snowiest part of the valley itself. So as I said, the further you go towards the dam, if you're in the village heading towards the dam, the more snow you'll typically get. It's pretty much a certainty. And then for those of you who wanna rent a place in Airbnb and be far away from everything and not deal with as much snow, but still be able to be right down the way and drive to the snow, you can stay out in Big Bear City and further out that way towards Irwin and Baldwin. It's significantly less snow out that way. And again, it's every time. If the Big Bear Dam has like a foot of snow, the opposite side of the valley will typically have an inch or two. And it's only an eight mile difference. Same elevation, same everything. Just eight miles away. It's 4 a.m., folks. So what's going to end up happening is I'm probably going to upload this video. And while it's uploading, I'm probably going to have to go out and do another video because it's probably going to be picking up significantly more so we're gonna probably stay on this video for another 15 to 20 minutes at least because I don't want to start uploading it and then it starts dumping because it takes some time for my phone to be plugged in and I don't want to miss anything oh this is so beautiful this snow you guys it is so beautiful my happy place. Happy. Go to your happy place. Look at the road. It's starting to get a little bit of a white texture to it. Oh, you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. I could not be happier. Again, guys, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for doing this with me, cruising with me. I've told a lot of you 
that it really feels like each and every single one of you are right here with me as soon as I hit the record button. It's an incredibly weird feeling, but a great feeling. So thank you guys for being here. And hit like, subscribe, help me out. I work so hard at this and it just takes a little click of the mouse or a little click of the finger and just to help me out, please. I believe in helping people's channels if you feel like they've earned it. Personally, I feel like I've earned it, but that's that's your decision to make. I lose so much sleep over this, and I invest so much time. If you guys realized, between my regular job, that I work about 60 hours a week, and especially this time of year when I'm making a lot more videos, literally all day long in between my regular jobs work and things like that all day and night I'm responding to comments yeah each new video might only get a couple hundred comments right but what you don't realize is that because of all the new subscribers a lot of people like to look at my older videos and I get a ton of comments on my previous videos so it's all day and all night every day I'm responding non-stop to comments and I love it. I love the interaction with you guys. It's just absolutely just wonderful. It feels so good. All right, so we're gonna hang a Roscoe right here, driving through the snow. Look at, that car has snow, the car's turning white. Let's see, I don't wanna point the car at at these cars, but that car was turning completely white. All right, we're gonna drop, drop the gear a little bit, just in case. No point in taking any risks. I always forget what the name of this street is, but it's very steep. And when there's fresh ice and snow, it can be pretty, pretty tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. We're good, we got our snow tires on, we're good to go. I'm assuming once we get back down here, the temperature's gonna jump back up to about 35, but hopefully it sticks to 35 and continues to go down a bit. Down here, it continues to go down. Okay, we are turning on to Sheephorn. This street is called Calusa. That's right, Calusa. Now we're on Sheephorn. And we'll be passing that Airbnb that I was telling you guys about. The one that we're doing the giveaway at. And the place is always booked because they they offer a killer, killer service. That's it right there. 
uh, killer service. So yeah, it's it's always booked. And as I said, not only are you gonna get to stay there for free, but you're gonna get free merchandise also. And the merchandise is high quality stuff. It's not cheap. So that's just gonna add to the really high value of that vacation package for you guys. I'm so excited. And one thing that I'm gonna guarantee also, I know this sounds stupid. I don't want you to think I'm saying it out of a, a pompous type of an attitude, but whoever wins that, I'll stop by and say hello as well. Give you guys a big hug, shake your hand, welcome you to Big Bear, and then I'll be out. But I thought that'd be pretty cool. Because without you guys, this channel really is nothing. Alright, so we're going to drive by Bear Mountain and then come back around. Now we're back on Moon Ridge Road. The snow over here has let up a little bit. I'm going to check our radar right now and see where the heaviest snow in town is right now because that's where we're going. That is where we are going, folks. So thank goodness we caught that, you guys, because it's looking like, I mean, look at this. So it shows until about, like, look at how minimal that snow is right there. Look at that timeline, that's ridiculous. So that's all we're gonna get. That's all we're gonna get. It says uh, some more snow possible around 5 a.m. But just for giggles, just in case, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know what, we are gonna go to the dam. Because again, I have a feeling that we're gonna miss most of this. Just like what's happening right now. But I feel like I can catch something because I can see some dark clouds over here. And here's Bear Mountain, you guys. Oh, it's so pretty. I can see some of the runs in the background. It looks so pretty. I wish you guys could see it through the camera. I wish you guys could see that through the camera. Because you, you, you can see the white slopes right behind. It's just so beautiful. Okay. So that was disappointing to look at the radar right now, guys. There is a huge plume of moisture, but it looks like it's it's gonna miss us. I can't believe it. So thank goodness I got out to catch what we caught because that literally could be it. As a matter of fact, we're gonna go back to the radar one more time. And okay, so I just want you guys to see this. That's us, that, 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 that little blue arrow. Look at that, it's just missing us, my goodness. That's ridiculous. Okay, so that's a little bit ago what we were just driving through right, right there. And now it's right now. Watch, it just barely clips us for about 30 minutes. And then it's it. Holy moly, I can't believe that. That's a disappointment, man. So it went from, uh, I told you guys, we'd be lucky to get an inch of snow out of this. When all the weather forecasters are saying at our elevation, we could see six to 12 inches. And at 8,000 feet, which is a thousand feet above where we're at right, right here, about 18 inches to two feet of snow. I told you guys, you guys gotta give me a lot of credit, right? Didn't I tell a lot of you in the comment section who were asking me about the amount of snow. Didn't I say, I don't think we're gonna get more than an inch of snow, right? Didn't I say that? I hope I'm, I'm wrong. I hope we do get something, but we're not even, like there's, there's, there's not even a dusting, but at least we got to drive around in a little bit of snow. And now, I, I, I don't know guys, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit bummed out. Let me see the daily. So it says tonight, Friday night, the 23rd or the, the 22nd, there is a slight chance for a shower, a very slight chance for a shower. Gene, that's great, a shower. 
Nobody cares. It's the time of year when we want to hear about snow, about schnur. We want the schnur. But as I said, since it looks like we're kind of running out of options here, we are going to take a drive to the dam. And hopefully we get something good out of it. But we did catch some moderate snowfall for a couple minutes, so that's good. I did everything that I could do. This isn't too out of the ordinary though. When I worked at Bear Mountain, maybe six, it was about six years ago, six winter seasons ago. We didn't even open. My first day of work was Christmas Eve at the ski resort. It was my first, it was everyone's first day of work. That's when the ski resort opened. And then, if, if, if I remember, I think we even shut down a couple weeks into it because of lack of snow for about a week or so. I'm, I'm pretty sure that did happen. I don't think I'm just telling stories here. I'm pretty sure that did happen. change all there 
So there seems to be a minor shift in that flow coming in, and that minor shift does happen all the time. As a matter of fact, like about 30 minutes prior to that, it showed a lot more snow. So it is possible. We're not gonna go back through the village. Maybe on the way back, we'll go back the opposite direction through the village. I think we'll do that. But right now we're gonna head all the way to the Big Bear Dam. yesterday and I top it off too like I top it off till till it's topped off I know you're not supposed to do that I guess but I do I'm a criminal I go through so much gas and it does it is painful a little bit but it is what it is Again, I'm so passionate about this. This is the best therapy for me, is doing these, these videos and communicating with you guys. It gets me through the hardest things in life, and I've been going through a lot of hard stuff. And I know a lot of you have as well. We are a family, guys. We gotta stick together, help each other out. Love on each other, take care of each other. You guys always listen to me, and I'm always here always here to listen to you guys and I do okay temperature bounced back up to 36 but again we are we are headed over towards the snowiest part of the valley and once we get to the stoplight at the Big Bear Dam we're gonna make a u-turn there I guess we could go around the you know what? We might as well just go around the lake since we're already going to be all the way over here. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Go around the lake. It'll be nice. But sadly no snow. We'll take. stretch here guys I might as well talk a little bit more about just real quick about the merchandise stuff so these beanies that I wear on a regular basis these are the original beanies from from the channel that I got a couple years ago they're the really extraordinarily high very high-end 100% fine merino wool beanies and I got the idea from these beanies uh, from my my couple of very expensive Gucci beanies that I can't believe I spent that kind of money on them, but one was 450 bucks, the other one was 550 bucks, just for a stupid beanie that says Gucci. But when you wear them, you feel like 500 bucks. Like, it's, it's, it's awesome. But I, I found a company that would make the same style beanie out of the same exact fabric and I have a leather patch for our logo on the front of it. So these are extremely high quality. I would love to sell some more of them. I'm not, I'm not trying to make a killing off of them. I always tell you guys, if you try to find 100% fine merino wool beanie at Nordstrom's or Macy's or Saks Fifth Avenue, those types of stores, for just the most plain Jane 100% fine merino wool beanies, and I know I shouldn't keep on saying 100% fine merino wool, someone's gonna punch me. But for these specific beanies that are plain, not name brand or anything, you'll pay between 150 and 200 bucks. If it says Gucci or Prada or Louis Vuitton or, or, or Coach or something like that, you're gonna end up paying 400 to 600 bucks. So all of these, I had to 
to get my price down to 35 bucks each, I had to buy a hundred of them, you guys. So I maxed out two credit cards, which was the most irresponsible purchase I've made in a long time because I, I can't, I couldn't afford it. Um, and I'm selling them for 70 bucks each, but through the end of the year, which is only another week and a half, just to try to get rid of some of them, I was offering them for 60 bucks. And then the flat rate uh, priority shipping is $9.94, I believe. So I was just charging 10 bucks for the shipping. So it would be 70 bucks. And because these are not on our website, because these are the OG product, um, you can let me know in the comment section or in the description of each, each video where it says how to help, you'll find my email address there. You can email me telling me that you want one of these beanies. And I've got, so there's four different colors. And then there's two different logo colors. There's a brown leather patch, which is awesome. I think that's what I'm wearing right now. And, and then the original white and black leather patch. But there's four different colors of those beanies, of the 100% fine merino wool beanies. Um, so uh, once again, if anybody wants to help me out and and take some of those off my hands I, I really appreciate it. I promise you guys you are not gonna find anything like this for 60 bucks My goal is not to make a whole bunch of money off of these My goal was to get you guys the nicest quality product that we could possibly find and Make it very affordable for absolutely everyone again. It's like buying a hundred thousand dollar Mercedes for like 30 grand I just wanted everyone to have the most awesome product there's a car flying up here on our tail so we're gonna let him pass this is what you should always do up here guys if someone's hauling some buns let them pass it's not worth getting into a wreck but yeah, send me an email or again, leave me a comment and I'll send you an email in response or I'll respond with my email address just so we can get your address and stuff like that. If you order it before 12 p.m. any day of the week other than Sunday, it will be shipped out that same day and every shipment that's gone out into California is there the next day <clears throat> through the priority flat rate shipping. So. Again, I could really, really use the help selling these things. You guys will be getting a very, very, very high-end product, and uh, you guys will be stoked. Everyone who's who has purchased one is extremely happy, and I'm not just saying that. Like, they are extremely happy. Um, and I always tell you guys, do, do your research first. Try to find a similar quality beanie for 60 bucks. You're not, I guarantee you, you're not going to. And especially one with a leather patch like really high quality leather as well all right that's enough talking about that <clears throat> we're almost to the big bear dam now damn we got here fast temperature dropped back down to 35 and it is still very cloudy up here but there's nothing happening at the moment once we get back around over towards uh, or past Fonskin, I'll check our weather radar again because I'll bet you we will get lucky and it will have changed a little bit, but I don't know. I'm just hopeful. Big Bear Dam, folks. And I don't know if Snow Valley's lights are gonna be on. It looks like they are. Yeah, Snow Valley's lights are on. That is Snow Valley Ski Resort right over there. Let me, 
Yeah, I think this guy is turning here, so we're gonna pull over and let him pass just so we don't have to deal with anything. By the way, guys, stay off the lake ice, all right? Don't be getting on that lake ice. As a matter of fact, there is no lake ice right now. It's quite sad. <laughs> it's very sad. It will get icy though. Parts of it will get icy. It happens every year. Some years, the whole lake will freeze over. But again, it's too dangerous for you guys to try to step out there. The fines are, are not nearly as big as they need to be because your lives are in danger when you step out there. But a lot of people still do it anyway. Just a bunch of bozos risking everything. It's, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Okay, that's right. I was going to plug in the fin. The fanny fan fin. Alright, hang tight, guys, just for a second. I want to make sure the phone's actually on or plugged in. Okay, we are plugged in. Currently it's 36 degrees, it's 429 in the morning. This video will probably be uploaded by 6.15 or so because it's a long video. But we got a nice little soaking, didn't we? I'll be expecting a call from my wife any second now, wondering where the heck I'm at. See if we can see anything across the lake here. Everything you're seeing, all those lights, that's on the other side of the lake. That's where we just came from. That is where we just came from. Gosh, guys, I was really hoping we would get enough snow to where I could show all, all of you new subscribers what I've coined as the Big Bear Snow Rule. And what that entails is, as I was talking about earlier, one side of town, every time, maybe out of 200 storms, 198 of the storms will be following the same type of track. Meaning that one side of town will always get a lot more snow than the other, despite this being the same elevation, and only an eight mile difference. What I've come to realize, the reason why, when you start he heading further this way that we're going right now, and into Big Bear City and then into Baldwin Lake, why that happens is because just on the other side of Baldwin Lake there, when you start heading down the mountain that way, you're in the desert there. So the desert comes with extremely dry, dry conditions and when we get all this moisture from the Pacific coming over our mountain range once it it hits snow summit bare mountain and stuff it starts to really fight with that extra dry dry air from the desert and the desert air seems to always win unless we have an absolute humongous storm then the storm will, will push through and you'll still get a, a good amount of snow, but it'll always be significantly more over here. And that's why I coined it as the Big Bear Snow Rule. I can tell you guys, as I said, where the best places to stay or visit in town if you want more snow or less snow. If you want colder temperatures or warmer temperatures, and this is all the same elevation that I'm referring to. It's funny, the part of town that gets significantly less snow usually gets a heck of a lot colder. For instance, when I went to do some, some work in Baldwin a couple days ago, I'm out there maybe once a day. When I went out there a couple days ago, at my house the temperature was about 30, I, I think it said 33 degrees in my car. And, and when I got over to, to Baldwin, it was 24 degrees just a 15 to 17 minute drive to the far end of town and uh and that's going 35 and 40 miles per hour the whole time so freeway speeds it's like a 
10 minute drive or less. But yeah, it's uh, significantly colder and a lot windier over there. There's not many trees in the Baldwin Lake area, so there's there's nothing to protect you from from the winds. All right, so we're about to enter Fonskin. And we're also coming up to where our famous eagles, Jackie and Shadow live. They live in one of these trees on the left-hand side here. There are signs all over the place here that say Eagle Habitat. Eagle Habitat. Habitat for Humana Eagle. Like right here. We're gonna be passing it so you, you might not be able to see it. Closed Eagle Habitat is what it says. Hi Jackie and Shadow, how you guys doing? Ah, pretty good. Thank you for asking. Okay. Another thing to point out, when you're driving through these little tiny towns up here, you should always follow the speed limit no matter what, okay guys? But I'm just saying, when you're going through these little towns specifically, it's 25 through, through this tiny little baby town. Do not go any faster. Keep in mind that our town, besides our tourism, relies on ticketing people and fines and things like that to, to bring money into the town. And they're not doing anything wrong by doing that. The law is the law. But I, I don't want you guys to contribute to our town like that. I want you guys to come up and spend your money at hotels and restaurants and skiing and snowboarding and just enjoying the heck out of yourselves. And never forget, I am always here for you guys. Any questions you have, I'll always be here. Okay. So we're coming through the end of Fonskin. I hope you didn't blink because we would have already, you would have missed all of downtown. I want to remind you guys, uh, there's probably not going to be much of an aftermath video because there's, it's, if there's no snow on the ground during any of these videos, there's no point because the aftermath will be the same as these videos. But we do have a time lapse going that started three and a half or four days ago. Of course, that's not going to be anything too special, but because it was technically a, supposed to be a good sized storm, we, we did the time lapse and I just hope that, uh, that you guys enjoy it. The music in the time lapses, you guys, is just so peaceful and so serene. It's, 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 it's wonderful and it brings so much peace and joy into a lot of people's hearts. And the music is so huge on these time lapses. I love it. And I hope you guys do too.
thinking maybe the Caltrans people treated the roads with some stuff anticipating a decent amount of snowfall and maybe that's what's going on. I think that is it. exit snow summit on which is called thrush they turn off the lights as we were driving up to snow summit it was pretty crazy timing it's 4 41 a.m temperature is 36 degrees and we are almost done with this drive now that's snow summit over there but you can't see it but you cannot see it man i can see the slopes a little bit which is just so beautiful seeing just a little bit of a white glow from the snow that we have on the slopes. It's really pretty. Guys, never forget, I'm, I, I promise you, I am here for you guys. Any questions you have, I want you to get up here safe and sound. I want you to enjoy yourselves here. I will always give you the best answer I can possibly give you. I'm here to help. Without you guys coming up here and enjoying yourselves, I always tell you guys that none of us get to live here. I 
I realize how important you guys are to this town. You guys are everything to this town. And because of you guys, I get to live here. And I never take you guys for granted, ever. And my best friends in the world have come from this channel. So I love you guys. I absolutely love you guys. And I only want the best for you. And I will do whatever it takes to make it trip, a better trip when you're here. Okay, we're going to turn right here on Stanfield Cutoff. This is the end of the lake. So where we went by the Big Bear Dam and then turned right there onto Highway 38, that was one end of Big Bear Lake. And then this street cuts the lake off at the very other end. Hopefully we get some nice views maybe some glowing on the lake, but I doubt it because it's extremely cloudy. Let's see, let's see. Nothing going over there. There is some water over here as well, but that's not Big Bear Lake. That's the, uh, the uh, gosh, I always forget what it's called. So we're turning from Stanfield Cutoff onto Big Bear Boulevard. And again, usually once we start to curve left here, where the road curves, you see the most incredible view of, of Snow Summit. But once again, because they hit all the lights, all you can see is those two lights at the very top up there. I don't know if you can see in the center of the screen, the very top, that's the top of Snow Summit. All right, guys. Wanted to thank you guys again for being here with me. I am exhausted, as you can imagine. Um, thanks for the cruise. I appreciate it. We did catch the snow from the storm. Wasn't a whole bunch, but it did come down pretty good for a little while. So we're excited about that. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. I'm always here. Any comments? I appreciate all, all the comments in the world. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com for your merchandise and I hope you enjoyed that little 30 second commercial that I threw in there of me acting it's uh it's it, 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 it's exciting where this channel is going so once again anything I can do for you guys I'm here for you guys as you can tell I am exhausted but uh I'm gonna set my alarm for every 20 to 30 minutes just in case something changes peace out you guys and uh yeah I love you guys very much thank you for everything I'll talk to you later Bye. And it is December 22nd, 2023.